Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Foxtan Salilif and I'm glad you're here. Today's video is gonna be um, shorter and less talkative. Um, this illustration is <laughs> um, an example of failing as an artist. And by failing, I mean just disappointing yourself and your own expectations of how you want an artwork to turn out. This is by no means saying that this artwork is a failure or that it's bad, but um, the choices I made in this um, illustration weren't the best. Um, I was just getting back into uh, watercolor and I haven't used my pen watercolors in I don't know how long because I've been enjoying using the liquid watercolors and I thought hmm, I should probably go back to it and try it again because it always was so much fun. So. I did this little sketch illustration um, of a very simple subject because I didn't want to over overwhelm myself and just start with a totally big piece and that, that was very detailed and yeah. So I had a certain image in mind for what I was trying to do. But on the other hand, I also wanted to go in and just experiment, have fun with colors, apply it, um, use the medium and um, just get back into the groove of using pen watercolors essentially or solid watercolors, whatever you want to call it. But the way this was going um, made me really unhappy because I've just been so used to um, using very vibrant and vivid colors that the pan watercolors just don't give me and <laughs> seeing this piece progressively get more muddy and dark just made me upset and I didn't want to continue but I thought I wanted to finish this because even if it's not the best or even if I'm not happy with it, um, I should still give this piece a chance and finish it because that's what I owe myself. Um, I love the saying of finish not perfect and that's what I try to live by. So in this instance it's definitely not perfect. I am not too excited about it but it's finished and I can just check it off my list instead of just having it be um, an unfinished piece of work that I would never finish if I didn't push through. So what I'm trying to say here for the artists among us is even if you feel like a piece isn't working out the way you want it to, give yourself the room to breathe and still finish it even if it won't be the best um, of your work um, but your art deserves to be finished and your art deserves to be shown even if you don't like it as much because some other person might think it's a beautiful piece and um, I think we are very self-critical as artists and when something goes wrong you tend to be very disappointed because it didn't work out the way you wanted to and that is upsetting in a way but it's also um, the chance to grow if you finish it because you can analyze what went wrong um, you can see where things took a took the wrong turn and you can see where you could improve and if you didn't finish it and just left it to essentially die you won't have the chance of um, figuring out what essentially upset you so 
finish not perfect usually is the best option at least in my opinion you can always disagree with me and feel like those pieces don't deserve to be seen but I also don't want artists to feel like they have to be perfect that they need to create the perfect piece every damn time when it's just not logical or it's not healthy to always assume that you're gonna create a masterpiece <laughs> and even though it feels a bit shitty to essentially post this because as i said i'm not happy with it but if my words can somehow help at least one person i feel like it's worth it and i don't want people to be so stressed about art when it should be fun even if it's your work you should be happy with creating and not making the perfect piece at least in my opinion that brings a lot more joy I will quickly go over what I use for this piece because it seems like a lot but um, I use my watercolor pens. They are very um, jumbled and mixed but usually I have a few Holbein and a few Schmincke pens um, mixed in. Uh, I also <laughs> decided to add some gouache um, which I have um, in a watercolor hand set I guess and it's dry so I can easily use it mm. those are all Holbein um, and I just added some polychromos uh, colored pencils just to see what happens if I use them um, and yeah other pants that I've used were like a ink brush and obviously the Dr. PH minus pen white at the end but I think that's about what I used and <laughs> how I tried to save this piece essentially.
I hope this video was helpful to at least one person. Um, you're not a robot, you're human and you are allowed to make mistakes and not make perfect pieces. Um, if this helped you in any way, you can leave a like and a comment. Uh, subscribe, I would really appreciate it and I will see you in the next week hopefully with another new video. Um, keep on working and keep on having fun with art. Bye bye!